It was another tough week for top executives at Wells Fargo. The bank CEO was grilled again on Capitol Hill over allegations Wells Fargo opened millions of accounts without customers' permission in order to reach aggressive sales targets. As Omar Villafranca reports, this may be a sign of a larger problem in the banking industry. I accept full responsibility for all unethical sales practices in our retail banking business. John Stumpf was contrite last week as lawmakers quizzed him on Wells Fargo's hyper-aggressive sales tactics. Oscar Garza was a personal banker for a Chase bank outside Dallas. He says aggressive sales tactics aren't just a problem at Wells Fargo. Deceptive sales trade practices is across the industry. It's systematic. It is not specific to any branch. Garza says he made under $12 an hour and that the only way to make extra cash was to meet certain sales goals set by managers, even if that meant signing up customers for financial tools they didn't want. Were they sales goals or were they quotas? Did they have to be met? There were quotas. They had to be met, and there were consequences for not meeting those quotas. What were the consequences? The termination. He claims a manager in his branch was aware employees used questionable IDs to open accounts. Never a direct order, but there was definitely, uh, I'm going to turn a blind eye. You do what you need to do to meet that quota. A spokeswoman for Chase Bank disputed some of Garza's claims, telling CBS News, we don't have formal quotas that, if not met, would result in termination, adding any manager who would encourage illegal activity and create a negative culture would be terminated. They have to sell as much as they can at all costs. Judy Conti works at the National Employment Law Project, which compiled a report on aggressive bank sales tactics. It cited bankers from a variety of financial institutions, all with similar stories, saying managers pushed workers to meet almost impossible goals and to ignore it when consumers say no. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Dallas.